This is the top of a newborn's head while it's crowning. This is an electrofetal monitor. Okay, so this video is on the account of a doula who is talking about um, these monitors that are used during labor. Uh, the first correction I wanna make is that they are called fetal scalp electrodes and they're used for electronic fetal monitoring. This is a fetal scalp electrode. And this is what the very end of it looks like. And that's the part that actually goes into the fetal scalp. Very, very tiny. And it's actually, it's also very shallow, but you can see that it's a spiral because it, it screws onto the top of the fetal scalp but it cannot go in very far, as you can tell. There's not a lot of water there. So to place a scalp electrode, I would put my fingers inside the uh, labia. I would take these two fingers, and you can see the scalp right there, the fetal head. I would go in, put my two fingers against the, the scalp of the um, fetal head. I would place this up against it, and then I would turn it once, twice. And then this sheath comes off, and it leaves behind this wire with it attached to the fetal scalp. This wire then goes and attaches to the electronic monitor, and we can assess the beat to beat variability uh, and also uh, any fetal decelerations better with this monitoring. Now, a fetal scalp electrode is typically placed when the external monitor on the abdomen for the fetal heart rate is not assessing the fetal heart rate uh, adequately. They can also be placed when the patient is pushing, and that's because as a patient pushes and the fetal head descends into the pelvis, the external monitors uh, don't pick up the fetal heart rate as well and you really want to see what's going on with the fetal heart rate during pushing because it's very common for decelerations to occur but you want to be able to fully assess those decelerations when a patient is pushing now first and foremost before an fse is placed a discussion should be had with the patient about what it is and why it's being recommended and there are potential complications with fse placement in my expert opinion for what it's worth it's not from the actual placement so this is like if it would be placed on the fetal scalp it's not from the actual placement. It's because during the course of time, I'm gonna take this off, there can be tension placed. And if you keep pulling on that for whatever reason, patient positioning or too much tension, then that can cause some of the complications with the fetal scalp. And I'm gonna talk about those. The most common complication would be um, a hematoma where the scalp electrode was placed. You can also have temporary hair loss there or a little bald spot, which I've seen happen before. <clears throat> there can be other complications if a vacuum is placed alongside a fetal scalp electrode. In fact, that's when most of the more significant complications occur with vacuum, when a vacuum is placed and a fetal scalp clip is uh, also in place at the same time. There's also a potential risk of infection in the neonate if the fetal scalp electrode is placed over a prolonged period of time. Now, I've seen a lot of fear mongering about the FSC on social media, which I think is really not fair. Overall, the risk of any complication from an FSC is very low. You do not have to have it placed. And yes, it is an intervention, but sometimes it's a very useful intervention. Actually, many times it is. So I hope this video has eased some of those fears.